under the Titanic, Grampy's spirit communicated to me the essence of the event of the unknown child's retrieval. Uh, as we've learned over uh, time, there's not a lot of emotional um, uh, remembrances of the event. Many people kept quiet about these. So I felt very um, honored uh, that Grampy came to me, um, and this is what I intuitively heard. My mate gave me a hand, and to tenderly we pulled him up over the side of the cutter that was already filled with many bodies. He was just a babe, no more than one or two years old. Bless his sweet soul. I took hold of him in my arms and rocked him back and forth, back and forth. In my vision, Grampy is cold and wet. Tears begin to fall down his cold, weather-beaten face. Yet in a way, he feels warmth holding this frozen child. It moves him to make a tender commitment then and there. Dear child, we will put you in your right place. And as the touchin story goes, Grampy and the crew and the captain of the Mackay Bennett stayed true to the word by organizing and funding a proper memorial church service, burial, and honorable gravestone. And Grampy uh, has, in his lifetime, visited this gravestone of the unknown child every anniversary. And he is actually buried in this graveyard just over the trees uh, to, our, to my left. And actually our father is buried in the Veterans Memorial at the top of the hill. So years later, when the unknown child's great sight was exhumed, all that remained of this child's body was a small piece of bone, protected by a copper metal plate inscribed with our babe. <laughs> so it makes sense to us that our grandfather, along with his crew mates, crafted the metal object in Mackie Bennett's machinist workshop. If so, the Mackie Bennett crew not only played a key role in honoring the unknown child, they also unknowingly protected Sidney Leslie Goodwin's DNA with this plate. We find that pretty fascinating, actually. Nearly 100 years after the sinking of Titanic, the spirit of the unknown child is reunited with his rightful living relatives as prom promised by our grandfather's vision. Thanks, Grampy. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Sydney.